All right, now uh, our opinion on the 31G. So I think it's an awesome camper. As I mentioned earlier, we have a Grand Design 2910 bunkhouse, a 22 model. This particular 31G is also a 22 model. Um, we love our 2910 for many reasons, and we love this camper for many reasons, but ultimately, I think we've decided to just stick with our 2910, um, and I'll kind of go around it with you. So, some of the things we love about this camper, we love that it has a generator, um, and specifically, this one is equipped with a Cummins generator. This one also has a 200 watt solar panel on top and you can outfit these things with more. So we like the idea of being able to boondock somewhere if we wanted to, um, which is not something we can do in our camper unless we take a generator with us. Um, what I didn't love was the, uh, the bedroom slide and we'll show you that when we get in there, but I've seen some folks comment that when the slide comes out, there's no insulation under the slide. So if you're camping in the winter and running the heat inside, there's condensation that builds up under the mattress. So hop on Facebook. There's a, a pretty good group for 29G and 31G owners and lots of good information there. That's actually where I, I learned that little piece of information. Um, this camper is big compared to ours. I mean, this thing's 12 feet, two inches tall, I believe eight feet, five inches wide, slide outs on both sides. It's 35 feet, 10 inches long, I think. Um, so it's a big camper sitting in the driveway. It just looks enormous. Lots of ground clearance below. It's 30 amp service. <clears throat> um, ours is 30 and 50. Uh, I always thought you needed 50 to run two ACs, but they figured out on these how to, how to make it work with 30. Um, you do have a fuel station. Uh, so here's our golf cart. That's one of the things we wanted to test to see if it would fit. So we have a lifted club car onward. Um, and it'll fit if you uh, take the Happy Jack sofas and put them flat against the wall. I have this closed up right now. But, you know, this is another thing we loved about this camper is that you can take take your toys with you. That back end lays down and makes a patio, which I'm sure anybody watching this video knows. Um, it does have the awning, camera prep. As we walk on around here, um, we were at a Grand Design dealer recently and just walking around a lot. And my wife was looking at a 24 model of these and she noticed it had glass doors and uh, the salesperson told her that Grand Design had an issue where the doors were warping. And so in 24, they started replacing them or making them with glass doors. Um, and I will say it does appear that both doors on this particular unit have warping. Um, when I had towed it home, when I got here, both doors were actually open. Um, this one has this handle that goes in front of it. So that kept that door from being able to open, which is good. Um, this door does not have a handle like that, um, but it does have uh, the hinges on these. I forget what they're called, but they're, you know, you got to actually push the door to get it to move. Um, so this door was open by the time I got home, but only about that much. Um, so luckily, it never opened far enough that I could see it in my mirrors. Um, it does have the fold down steps. You got your living room slide out. One thing we don't like about this camper is there is almost zero exterior storage space. This front compartment here is really all you get. And, you know, it's not very big. You got your water hose, the power cord will go back in there. You got a broom. It is tall, seven feet. So some fishing poles will fit in there, not all. 
Um, I've seen people do like some shelving in there to kind of help organize it, but man, I just don't like that. There's just not a lot of places to keep things outside of here. If you choose the Grand Design without a generator, you'll pick up that space on the other side for storage, but honestly, I'd rather have the generator. It's part of the reason we like this camper. Um, and I assume that they just expect that, you know, you're gonna, you got the garage and that's where you're gonna put things, but we're a family of four. I'm gonna take toys with us. And I don't wanna store a bunch of stuff where the kids are gonna sleep. You know, in our camper now, we've got cornhole boards, an outdoor foldable table, all of our chairs, you know, fans. Um, let's walk in and take a look. All right, so in the garage here, so this is the 31G again, so the garage is 13 feet deep. Um, this one does not have the three season doors, though that is, is an option and if we were going to buy one that, that would be a must for us because i want to be able to leave that ramp down if we're able to and uh, have those doors closed so right now the uh, happy jack sofas are all the way up um, the clearance the lowest point on here would be these brackets and you got 75 inches from that bracket to the floor so our golf cart will not fit in here with those happy jacks up like that. Um, these happy jacks, however, do fold down and they'll go vertically against the walls. So they'll basically cover both windows and go vertically against the wall. And when you do that, you pick up uh, several more inches. I forget how many, but what I cared about would is that our golf cart would fit in here that way, and it does. Um, there's also lots of folks that tow side-by-sides in here, but I'm pretty sure that lifted golf cart sits taller than most side-by-sides. Um, you know, and these make queen beds, uh, which is nice. That's something else we really liked about it. Our kids are teenagers, um, so it just gives them some more room versus the full-size beds in our bunkhouse trailer. If I walk around from this side, that's a half bath right there, and I gotta be honest, that's one of our favorite things about this. If y'all have been camping with four or more people sharing one bathroom, you know, sometimes that, that stinks. No pun intended. Um, it's a small bathroom, but we knew that is what it is. It's just, uh, you know, an extra one is nice, but nice little sink in there. Some shelving, throw some towels or shampoo bottles or whatever, little medicine cabinet, another little shelf up there. So nothing fancy, but that extra half bath, man, that, that sure is nice. Um, these folks have a TV mounted back here, which I think is great. Um, we'd, we'd want to do that too. You got your controls here to raise and lower the bed, extend your awning, turn on the inside and outside lights. Um, the screens are all really nice. I kind of like that. They're, I don't know what that's called, but they're, they look like they're tied down there. At first I thought you had to untie them to raise it, but you don't. You just pull it and push it up, uh, which is nice too. It keeps them from flapping around when you're walking around the trailer. Um, you got some storage up here, but you know, that's kind of what I think it's going to end up being used for. If you've got people sleeping on these beds, you know, I first thought, oh, well, that's a good place to keep stuff. But Really, on if you use the lower beds, the sofa, it's it's kind of lumpy. And in order to make that at all comfortable, you're going to want to put a memory foam mattress over it, in my opinion. And where are you going to keep that while you're driving? Well, you know, up there maybe. Um, and that takes up some storage. I guess you could throw it in the bedroom. Um, but up there, there's memory foam mattresses and pillows, and it's full. So I don't have anything in here yet. Cornhole boards, water lines, you know, just all the stuff you take camping. And you can't leave it on the bed, otherwise it won't raise up uh, all the way to the ceiling. Um, that top bed up there does have the factory mattress on it right now and a sheet and a bedspread. And then you can see the ladder sticking out, which it does have a strap to strap that down. And then the table is also sitting up there. 
a table will fit in those three slots there. And I got the legs to them up top. And then as you walk into the living room area, it's also very nice. Um, a nice big window looking out, which we like. It's on the campsite side. Um, couch is super comfortable. Um, we liked it. It was a three person couch. Uh, that middle section will fold down to some cup holders. Um, there's another color option. Um, that we like, and I forget the name of it right now, um, but it has uh, lighter colors, and I just think that the lighter colors kind of made it feel bigger in here, even though obviously it's not any bigger. Um, I think decent counter space. Honestly, we don't do a lot of cooking in the camper. Some people might. We've never used our oven, which our camper has that same oven. Um, we've used the microwave a couple of times. Um, the fridge in this one is really it's smaller than our fridge that we have in our 2910. Um, the freezer seems to be the same size, but you know, I'll have to look online at specs, but that fridge just looks smaller than what, uh, what our camper has in it. So, um, tons of cabinet space. So that's a plus if you need interior storage, um, that would be, you know, you've got a lot of cabinet space in here up top and down below. I do like that you've got a spot for a trash can in here. Our camper does not have a spot for a trash can. It just kind of sits here next to the counter. Uh, and you've also got an awesome pantry. So this is something else we liked in the 31G that you don't have in the 29G. Um, up top opens as well. More storage up there. Um, but yeah, so there's there's a definitely good shelf space in here. And I think that some of the storage we would lose on the inside of our camper could definitely be made up here. Um, and what I specifically mean by that is in our camper, the 2910, um, I have the slide in right now for the, for the bedroom. Um, but I'm going to skip over the bathroom. We'll come back to that. So these folks have put a uh, residential mattress in here, which... You know, I'm sure it is more comfortable, but to put the slide in was actually a two person job because you got your control panel here with your slide. So I had to stand here so I could push the slide button and then I had to have my son come out and go through the bathroom and stand here and hold the mattress up as the slide came in so that it wouldn't, uh, you know, wouldn't hit everything. And that's actually why I'm not putting the slide out now because I'm going to return this here shortly and I don't have anyone else at home to uh, help me put it in. But the bedroom's fine. Um, you know, you don't have, you got a little bit of room on that side between the bed and there's like a dresser over there with some shell, some drawers in it. They're not very deep. Uh, you got a, a nice backlit mirror, which is, you know, pretty... That door there, if you open it, is a, has a clothes hanger rod in it, um, and it's pretty deep, so you could probably throw a lot of clothes in there. I think it'd be tough to keep them organized. Um, you got some shelves above the bed. They're just, they're not very deep. Um, so I, I felt like we were losing a lot of even storage for our clothes. And there's drawers down there in the dresser, but again, they're not very deep either because the front cap kind of curves up behind that wall. And that dresser kind of sits over the curve. So as the, as it curves up, you, you lose some of your drawer space in there. You got some little shelves there in the back. And I'll be honest, I'm not even sure my iPhone would fit there. If you stood it up, it might sit there. But if you're somebody who likes to put their phone next to the bed and hop online at two in the morning when you can't sleep and play, you know, words with friends or whatever it's called, you know, just not a lot of space there. So that brings me to the bathroom, which right now my back is up against the kitchen sink. My right elbow is over the shower pan and my left elbow is over the toilet. So it's a small bathroom. And, uh, and I knew that, um, 
you know, our camper has a 30 by 36 shower. And this one is a little bit smaller, but it does have the curved ring and a curtain. So I, I think there's plenty of room in there. Um, these toy haulers are obviously taller, so I'm 5'8". I mean, I'm never going to have a problem, but if you're taller, you know, this is a nice camper for that reason, too. Um, little pedestal sink. The throne. You got a medicine cabinet. And then a, a little cabinet below and an outlet there if you need a hair dryer or something. But one thing I noticed, I asked my wife, I was like, wait a minute, where are we going to keep towels? You know, I... I don't know. We were thinking, well, maybe we'll keep them in the bedroom, <laughs> maybe in the, that kitchen pantry. Um, but I just felt like we're losing a lot of interior storage. In our 2910, uh, the bed is not in a slide out. So actually under the bed, like that whole bottom half would lift up and there's tons of storage there. You know, we keep our coffee pot in there, a Brita water filter box, you know, a big pack of toilet paper, a vacuum cleaner, a laundry basket to throw our dirty clothes in. You know, it's just, I feel like our camper is very homey. And I think this one could feel very homey. Um, I just, I just feel like we're losing so much storage space. And I definitely love the bath and a half, but man, that's a small bathroom. And when you close the door, there's about a inch gap at the bottom. And then right here's the couch. So, you know, not a lot of privacy. Um, the TV does swivel out, but, you know, your couch is there. Your TV's there. You're definitely turning your neck to look to your right to watch TV, which is fine. We don't watch a ton of TV in here. Our kids will at the end of the day, but, um, you know. So it's really, it, it, it is an awesome camper. Everything I love about it, the half bath, the garage, the patio. Um, I mean, those are all the reasons that we want one. But the opposite is our camper has a huge bathroom compared to most, a larger shower, a ton of inside and outside storage. Um, you know, easy to tow. You know, I can't take toys with me and I don't have an extra half bath. And I think at the end of the day, that's that's what we're looking at. I do have the bed in my truck so I can get, you know, you know, we take dirt bikes. Um, so I can get one dirt bike easily in the back of my truck. Um, we're fortunate in that our older son has his license and has a little pickup truck. So, you know, we recently went to an off-road park and camped and took all the motorcycles. Uh, and we just took two cars and we've just kind of realized... That's fine for us. You know, we're not traveling all over the East Coast or big distances. Um, you know, we're we're traveling hour and a half to four and a half hours away to do stuff with our toys. Um, and just not a big deal for us to take two cars. <clears throat> but, you know, really nice camper. I know the owners of this camper, they have little kids and uh, who obviously don't drive, so they don't have the luxury of taking two vehicles um, and their kids ride dirt bikes and they take their four-wheeler and man what an awesome camper to raise kids in um, if our kids were younger and couldn't drive you know we didn't have the option to take two cars I think we'd be more inclined to to go this route but you know just selling our camper of course at a loss like most campers um, and then buying this camper even though we found a, a pretty sweet deal on one you know, we're still $25,000 difference between what we could sell ours for and, and what we'd get, you know, this a new 23 leftover model for. Um, so I'll just walk back out here one more time and take a look at it. Um, you do have the awning that comes out, extends from just to the right of that window all the way to the front, almost to the storage. Um, Overall, I'd, you know, we would recommend the camper for someone who's looking for a toy hauler, um, especially one you can tow with a 2,500 truck. Lots of stuff we love about it. That golf cart fits in there. We have three full-size dirt bikes. Obviously, would fit in there, no problem. Um, 
But at the end of the day, we just wanted to share our feedback on it and uh, hopefully that helps someone else who's trying to figure out what they can tow and what this camper's like. Um, all right, thanks for watching.